Friends, the Lord invites us to look into our hearts. He says that what defiles a person is that which comes out from within. And so today, we will reflect on virtues and dispositions which we need in our faith journey. The risen Lord tells Thomas the Apostle, Do not be unbelieving, but believe. Sometimes crises or difficulties overwhelm us, tempting us to doubt if God really exists and if He cares at all. Jesus shows Thomas his wounds as though telling, Look, I have endured the cross for you. I have triumphed over death for you. I am here for you. Do you think I leave you? Faith in Jesus, who truly cares, gives us courage to move on. Then we have St. Paul, who writes to the Thessalonians, In all circumstances, give thanks. Many say that gratitude is the mother of all virtues. Jesus gave thanks to the Father in an effusive way. Whenever we express our thankfulness, we acknowledge the goodness of the other. Gratitude is an act of humility, for we recognize that we depend on God and others. From scriptures, we move to people who lived the gospel during their lifetime. In a prayer commonly associated with St. Francis of Assisi, we hear, Lord, Make me an instrument of your peace. I hope this is our prayer too, especially today. There are so many conflicts besetting us. May each of us become a channel of peace in our homes, in our workplaces, everywhere. Peace comes when we conquer evil by the power of good. Be who God meant you to be, and you will set the world on fire counsels St. Catherine of Siena. Brothers and sisters, God calls us in different ways. Thus, we have different vocations. Do we pray over God's purpose for us? Do we discern? God has a dream for each of us. Let us be open to Him, for He will lead us to the place where we would bear much fruit. Then we have St. Ignatius of Loyola who prays, Lord, teach me to be generous. Fear of losing material possessions, time, positions, or life makes us stingy. But God has been generous to us. And if I believe in Him, I should not fear losing anything, for I will gain everything in His love. St. Teresa of Avila tells us, pain is never permanent. I have never known a man who did not suffer or endure pain in his life. Each of us has a cross to bear, but our hope is always in the Lord, brothers and sisters. That is the promise of the resurrection. St. Teresa of Lisieux adds, without love, deeds, even the most brilliant, count as nothing. Brothers and sisters, I hope we do not forget the simple truth. We are the images of God who is love. Love should form our thoughts. It should fuel our actions. Pray, hope, and do not worry, counsels Saint Padre Pio of Petrelcina. Prayer is very important in our life as Christians. Do we still find time to pray or commune with God? A person of deep prayer finds hope in God and does not become anxious. That is why he says, do not worry. And we agree. Remember what the Lord says about how we are worth more than the sparrows that God takes care of? Lastly, here is Saint Jose Maria Escriva, who encourages us. All of us are called to be saints. These people that we mentioned prove to us that sanctity is possible in our daily life and work. Let us try to live holiness in simple ways.
There you go, brothers and sisters. We hope these reminders would help purify our hearts.